said, I am the light. Can you show me that same story? But Jesus said, I am the way. He said, I am the life. He said, I am the truth. There is no other way. The way to God is not a mortal way. The way to God is not a flashback. The way to God is not an ocean shipping way. The way to God is not religion. Religion will not ship the Hitchcock. The way to God is not philosophy. Jesus from Israel. Philosophy will not take it to God. The way to God is not a way of life. But the way to God is a person. And his name is Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus, the Holy One of God, Jesus, even though you had the form of God, he did not consider it robbery. We are so little of Philippians. This is from Middle East. Jesus is coming for you. He coming for Middle East people. He came for the Jews. He came for the Jews. But instead, Jesus humbled himself. He humbled himself for my sake. He humbled himself for your sake. He humbled himself for the sins of the world to rescue, to rescue the world. The fact that Jesus left his majesty, the fact that Jesus left his kingdom above, the fact that Jesus left his deity, it's humility now. It's humility now that Jesus can take on this human flesh with all its vulnerabilities, with all of its problems, with all of its complaining. But Jesus did that and he did not stop there. He came in the form of a servant. He came to a humble family. He did not come as a prince. He came as a lowly person. He lived his life as a lowly person. He died a gruesome death. A gruesome death on the cross of Calvary. Jesus died nailed to the cross. Jesus died his hands spread wide. Jesus died for the sins of the whole world. Jesus went through some trial. Jesus went through a kangaroo trial. But on that cross, Jesus showed his character. He displayed his character to his enemies. He displayed his purpose, his mission. And he said, Father, forgive them. Forgive them was what Jesus said. For they know not what they are doing. And that's the character of Jesus. And that's the personality of Jesus. And that's the mission statement of Jesus. He says, Father, forgive them. Forgive them, he says. Friends, there is no other way. John 14, verse 6. There is no other way to God. The way to God is not a mortal way. There is no other way to God, my dear friend. The way to God is not religion. There is no other way to God, my dear friend. The way to God is not praying a hundred times a day. There is no other way to God. 
The words of God is not giving all your money. There is no other way to God. But Jesus, 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 the sinless one, the sinless Son of God, Jesus Christ, the Holy One of God, all the founders of the religions of the world, they have died, they have been buried, they have a tombstone, they are dead, but Jesus is alive. And because Jesus is alive, I have hope. I have hope because Jesus is alive. I have assurance. I have peace because Jesus is alive. He said in his father's house, there are many rooms. There's a place reserved for me. And for all those that name the name of Jesus, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the life. There is no other way. Jesus is the bread of life. Bread is universal. Jesus is universal. Bread is eaten all over the world. Jesus saves all over the world. Bread can be taken for breakfast. It can be taken for lunch. It can be taken for dinner. You can meet Jesus any time of the day. You don't need to go to some special building. Jesus is alive. He is the bread of life. Jesus is in the multiplication business. And the Bible tells us of that boy that gave Jesus the loaves and the fishes. He gave him all he had. And what did Jesus do with it? Jesus multiplied the loaves. Jesus, the Bible says, in the beginning was the word. And this word was with God. And this word is God. And through him, all things were created. All things were created. So my dear friends, I will summarize by challenging you. If you hear the word of God, my dear friends, do not procrastinate. If you hear the voice of God, do not delay, my dear friend. So many people have delayed. So many people have waited for a convenient time. But the Bible says, now, today, now is the time of salvation. But my dear friend, remember, there is no other way to God. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the life. Jesus is alive. So remember, my dear friend, do not waste time. Tomorrow may be too late. Choose life. Choose Jesus. Confess your sins. Repent of your sins. It's your sin. It's my sin that separates us from God. But Jesus came to build a bridge. Jesus came to reconcile man with God. So, my dear friend, do not leave it too late. God bless you. Uh-huh. Although you may have to adjust it a little.
we have basically the speaker in the center. So I adjust that to adjust it. Let me show just a few. No. Pop it back and steady test the speaker. Yeah. So when you look yeah. at that uh, screen, yeah. it should really have me in focus. Okay, okay. Since I move this. Okay. My dear friends, today we have come out to bring to you good news. My dear friends, good news at the time when Russia fights Ukraine, when Israel fights Hezbollah yeah. wait, wait, wait. and Hamas and the Houthi. Good news! Bye. What is the good news? My dear friends, you can come out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. You can come out of a life ruled by sin to come into the life governed by righteousness. My dear friends, you are under the domain of God or you are under the domain of evil. And my dear friends, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, into this world to seek and to save. That which is love. My dear friend, I want to tell you that Jesus is the Son of God who lived a life. And I'll ask you a question. Who lived a life. My dear friend, I'm the only person listening. All his youth. I'm literally the only person listening. Adulthood. Jesus Christ lives without sin. My dear friend, that has never been done again. The Bible says, all have sinned and come short of the expectation of God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And my dear friend, in this life, we do not go without accountability. My dear friend, every one of us one day will be asked for an account of our life. And my dear friend, on that day, will you have found a solution to your sin problem? My dear friend, your sin problem and my sin problem is our greatest problem. And my dear friend, this problem of our sin and the human sinfulness was only addressed by Jesus Christ as its root. My dear friend, what is the root to sin? My dear friend, it is bright. I want to be as God was the cause for Satan's downfall. And my dear friends, in his downfall and opposition to God, he led one third of the angels into revolt against God. And my dear friends, the Bible calls him the father of life. And this whole world is under the spell of his deception. My dear friends, never think that what you can see with your eyes is eternal. A nice house 
a pile of money, fame, wealth, it cannot give you what Jesus offers. My dear friend, Jesus offers everlasting life, life without end, life to the full. And my dear friend, we ask you today, consider his invitation. What did Jesus say? Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden in your problems of addiction, in your problems of depravity and sin. My dear friend, in your perplexities of life, in your screwed up relationship, Jesus said, come unto me, take of me, learn of me, and you shall find rest, rest, peace unto your soul. My dear friend, the Holy Spirit is the spirit that works in the human heart. And the Holy Spirit draws men unto God. And my dear friend, the Bible says, Today, if you hear His voice, do not harden your heart as it happened in the day of temptation in the wilderness. My dear friend, Cain hardened his heart unto God and he became a fugitive in this life, on this world. The Pharaoh hardened his heart against God. And my dear friend, the nation of Egypt suffered for the hardening of Pharaoh's heart. All the firstborn of man and animal died. The army drowned in the Red Sea. My dear friend, Pharaoh challenged God. Who is this God to command me to let the people of Israel go? Who is this God? My dear friends, he encountered that God as the stronger one. That God invited him. That God showed him concern, compassion. But my dear friend, the hardening of Pharaoh's heart caused the devastation. And my dear friend, no one has prospered in his or her sin. My friend, no one has prospered in his or her sin. My dear friend, we may legalize what was sin. We may promote what was sin, but no one has prospered in his sin, in her sin. And my dear friend, the Bible says, righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is the reproach of any people. My dear friend, where can sin be forgiven? In the place where sin was paid for. Where can forgiveness of sin be executed? In the place where atonement was made and the sacrifice was accepted by God. My dear friend, it is in the cross 
of Jesus Christ. That the innocent, the sinless, became sin for us. That we might become the righteousness of God. My friend, this righteousness is a free gift. This righteousness is imputed, accounted by the sheer mercy and grace of God. Because Jesus died in our place. My dear friend, this gift of eternal life, this gift of righteousness is not obtained automatically. But this gift of eternal life is obtained where a sinner repents, where a sinner humbles himself. And my dear friend, believe me, we are in the place of the sinner. But my dear friend, God's ears are open and there is rejoicing with the angels in heaven over one sinner that no. repents. Yes, no. there is rejoicing no. with the angels in heaven over one sinner no. that repents, no. returns from his evil no. way. He Jesus, turns Jesus, from his self-righteousness. My dear friend, there is a party in heaven no, party over in heaven, one no. sinner that repents. My dear friend, you can be that Western one. Time with you, man. you can be that one. Western. You can be that one. May God bless you. If you know how to stop.